Welcome to the Den of Tools. Hi, the guys and girls. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And boy, have we got a whole ton of new tools and new tech here from Harbor Freight just dropped today. So let's not take any time or waste any time on it. Let's get into it because they got some cool stuff, some stuff I was expecting, some stuff I wasn't. This is one we were waiting for. This is the big daddy grinder here for the new Bauer line. This is now previously Harbor Freight had had four other grinders. They had uh, three corded, one cordless, all of them in four and a half inch. Uh, of the corded, we have two eight amp, one seven amp. This is a 15 amp, seven inch grinder. This thing is a beast of a grinder. This is like when you really need to move a bunch of material, this is what you're going to go for. Uh, you're, you're doing concrete work and stone. This is definitely what you're wanna, going to want to use. Not only does it have a three position handle set up there, but the whole body rotates 180 degrees. That is, I know a lot of guys have been looking for a nice big quality grinder from Harbor Freight. There you go. That's a big boy right there. Now, uh, Let's move on to some of the fun smart tech I was talking about. We got smart plugs. Not only do we have smart plugs, we got indoor smart plugs. We got outdoor smart plugs. We even have, check this out, smart power strips. And I was checking just to make sure this has six power or power, six plugs on the power strip. You can control each plug independently or all as a set. This is great. 30 bucks for that. You might pay that much for an average power strip. That's nothing. $24.99. You know, Christmas is coming up. Uh, the holidays, all that kind of decorating. This is a great way to control your lights and stuff outside or even throughout the year for that kind of mood lighting and whatnot. Uh, and then we have the individual power plug, of course. Now, you know, don't think just around the house. There are things you could use this for around the shop. Now, okay, hypothetically, I haven't checked the amperage on this. It uh, depends on what it can handle, but I've used smart plugs before to turn on and off different uh, power tools, especially like shop vacs and stuff like that around the shop. Make sure that they're rated for the power that you need to use them for. Now, anyway, check this out. We got cameras. We got the Sentinel 1080p pan and tilt smart camera for $50. And in fact, they've also got, look at this. This is your typical smart cam that that is, you know, taking the uh, the home security market by a storm. Uh, the Nest cameras from, from Google on down to the Wise cameras that you know the Bear's been playing around with. Uh, you know, I've got a really nice security camera system and, uh, you know, it's the traditional wired kind. It's got 4k color Wi-Fi or color night vision, a whole nine yards. But that said, that, that's a $2,000, you know, system. That's not the same as something like this. This is around the house. This is an indoor camera. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. One of the cool things is the stem on this is flexible. And in one of the pictures over here, you can see it's stuck to the wall and then they've turned it up. So it's still in that vertical facing position. Pretty flexible. We look at the back of the camera. Oh, that's the front of the camera. Where's the back of the camera? Come on. No, no back of the camera picture? Oh, my gosh. Well, I got one here coming for you later. I'll show it to you. Anyway, the, uh, the fact of the matter is, though, I'm looking at this going genie, and I look at the retail box. It doesn't look like your typical Harbor Freight kind of stuff because, as you know, most of the stuff, almost 99% of the stuff stole, stole, <laughs> sold at Harbor Freight is probably probably same for the other one, too. But 99% of the stuff sold at Harbor Freight it is actually a Harbor Freight owned brand. This is not. Genie is a brand in and of themselves. And you can go and check out their website and everything else. Here on the website, we can see that they've got, you know, here's the outdoor plug with the lights. Here's the, you know, this is the one of the ones I always like to do is with the Christmas tree. Uh, it's always inevitably plugged in someplace that's a real pain in the fuzzy backside to get to. Uh, so you plug your Christmas tree into this and it controls the whole thing with your home uh, Wi-Fi and whatnot. You can use your cell phone to control it. You can run it through your, usually, I'm not I'm not sure. Well, yeah, it actually does uh, say right here that it works with a she who shall not be named, uh, you know, the Allegra person I'm talking about. And as such about, you know, let me check one other place. One of my favorite places to do home automation. All right, well, I checked my favorite scripting, online scripting source for home automation, if this and that. And I'm not seeing really any support for the, the Genie products. Let me check one last time. And uh, anyway, there may be a hack, a workaround or something like that, but we'll have to come back to that. That's a little disappointing. But that said, I'm still excited about the stuff that they're offering here. You know, I love these pan and tilt cameras. And look at this. We got the door screen. This is great. This is your smart doorbell kind of option. Uh, so you can see who's at the doorbell. Boy, I get so many packages. I desperately need something like this. 
oh, it'd be great to see who's actually at the door before having to trudge over there and, and whatnot. Now for outdoor, outdoor security, we have the Hawk 1080p indoor outdoor security camera. Of course you can use them indoor, but that's going to be weather resistant, whether it's going to be weather resistant in Montana, you know, Maybe, I don't know, my last system or my current system, I should say, it's handled all the weather here. And you know it gets cold here. We're talking well below zero. We got, I had icicles. I had four foot long icicles hanging off my current security camera system. We'll have to see if these things can hold up to the weather here in the in the Montana. And if they can last here, well, they can last about anywhere. We also have the Sentry 1080p motion activated floodlight security camera system so not only do you have a floodlight you've got a camera and it's motion activated all in one there for a hundred bucks that's not too shabby right there all right anyway one of the things i looked over on amazon just to get some feedback as to how the these cameras are doing what do we got here we got 4.3 stars out of five looks like some people like them looks like they're about the same price there so here's one of the things you know, the super coupons do, don't quite yet say Genie on them now, do they? So if you get them a strike fast, if they're in store at your location, let me see if they're around my place here. Back in stock soon, back in stock soon. Uh, in stock in Bozeman. Oh, yeah. Maybe I might want to jump with that, use one of those 20% off coupons on that real quick. That seems like it'd be a, a real pickup there. All right, on to some of the other stuff. Get this. You guys have been waiting, dying, asking. I cannot tell you how many times people have asked me, are they going to come out with the white accessories for the U.S. General? Boom, baby. Here we got magnetic spray can holder, $11.99. Magnetic tray with screwdriver, $11.99. White magnetic... <laughs> Paper towel holder, yeah, paper towel holder, wait, eleven ninety nine. go figure, <laughs> and we got the glove holder too, this is, this is a big deal for a lot of people who've been waiting on this, who've got the white cabinets, of course, you know, white goes with about everything, so you can use it with anything else also, this is a nice little pickup, maybe for, you know, if you got some stuff around the, uh, around the kitchen, you can use the, uh, the old paper towel holder for that. You know, I'm going to get one for my grill too. I'm going to get one of these, put it on the side of the grill. That'd be a great setup there. Got to do that. Anyway, this is real exciting, uh, that for that they're coming out in all these colors. Let's hope that maybe the white and the other colors are going to expand into the other spectrums over there at the old Harbor Freight. Speaking of colors expanding into other spectrums, who saw this coming? We now have the Pittsburgh, 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 the Pittsburgh Automotive Creeper. We got it in, in green, we got it in blue, and we got it in black as well. You know, and of course, they still have the original in that lovely gray color. Now, this is, a, I'll be honest, this is the one that I tell a lot of people to avoid. Unless you're a lightweight, someone who's slim or something like that, this is, if you're a, a husky kind of bear, this is definitely not the Creeper for you. I've seen a lot of photos where the uh, the wheel, usually the wheel right around here has broken off because it's just going through the plastic here. There is, there's nothing really solid there to hold it in place. Now, who knows? Maybe with these new ones, maybe they've stepped up the, the game. Maybe this is more of a Gen 2, and we're going to see something that's, that's a little bit better built. I mean, at least it's a little bit more colorful. I mean, you won't have to worry about not seeing that thing and stepping on it. You know, it's going around your shop. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> It's not like it's going to blend in with the concrete like this thing will. But that said, uh, it, I, it's not the ones that I, I recommend. And when I, every time I talk about it, you'll see it. You'll see it down in the comments below. Bear, you're wrong. I've had this for years and years and years, and I've never had a problem with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I say the same thing about my family's Pinto. We drove a Ford Pinto for years. It never blew up. Still not going to recommend you buy a used Pinto. <laughs> the same goes with this pneumatic roller seat. I have tons of people saying, this thing's fine. It's never a problem. It's not a problem till it's a problem. Okay. Anyway, uh, this one's a little bit more dangerous. When your creeper breaks a wheel, you, you fall a whole two inches and, you know, I don't know, break a hip or something. But the uh, the Pittsburgh, man, you get you get the shaft when this one breaks. Anyway, moving on, they also have a camping table. This thing looks pretty cool. My family likes to have a lot of stuff to take with us. Not even when we go camping, but we we go to the county fairs, and, or not county fairs, the, the uh, well, county fairs, we do go there too. But we, we go to like the... Uh, the, the farmer's markets and outdoor events and stuff like that. And we've got all the folding tables and stuff. But uh, this would be a nice little add-on to that whole set of things that we like to take with us. 
Now, one of the last things they added was this eight inch drop, six inch rise uh, hitch mount. Now, this thing is interesting because most of the people who are going to need something like this are going to be driving bigger trucks, usually lifted trucks. And most of the guys I know who have lifted trucks, they're going to want to get a fancy hitch for it or something like this. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't see a ton of people, you know, wanting to get the, just the classic simple hitch when you've got that big lifted vehicle, but maybe you're out there and I mean, 30 bucks, it, it, it's a hitch, right? All right. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. Just some of the new items. I tell you what, uh, you know, we only try to bring you the new items when we when there's some real standout stuff in there. Definitely that grinder is a standout item. And uh, and the fact that they're coming out with the white uh, accessories there for the U.S. General, that's a huge deal. People have been waiting a long time on that. But the, the home security, home automation, wow. I'm a huge fan of home automation. You know, I'm kind of a gadget bear, kind of a geek at times. I like to play around and fiddle with that kind of stuff, get inside it, see how it works, hopefully put it back together. Anyway... I'm excited now I can just run to Harbor Freight and pick some up rather than having to like go to Best Buy or order it online. Let me know what you think. Is this the kind of stuff you're into? Do you want to see more of that? We're going to, probably going to be doing more of this kind of stuff over on the den of, uh, or sorry, the Bears Den on that channel. Not so much here, but we you know we'll see. Well, if you guys want to see it, definitely if we can find a way to work it into the shop environment, we definitely will cover it. Anyway, that's all the Bear has for you this Thursday. Keep your fingers crossed that they might figure something out with this election. I'm not counting on it, though. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.